This presentation by the DLP Advanced Light Control Group concentrates on near-infrared spectroscopy applications in the food industry. In the food industry, near-infrared spectroscopy can be a useful technique to monitor and assess food items. The quality of food can be determined by reporting the moisture content, the amount of carbohydrates and sugars, the protein content, the fat content, and the alcohol content for alcoholic beverages. Near-infrared spectroscopy can also be used to confirm the authentic authenticity of oils like olive oil and syrups like maple syrup and specialty honey products. Counterfeits of these high-value foods are made by using other oils or syrups and adding flavor components. For example, counterfeit olive oil is made from corn oil, colorants, and other flavor additives, and counterfeit maple syrup can be made from corn syrup, colorants, and other flavor additives. Near-infrared spectroscopy can also be used to measure saturation and trans-unsaturation in oil products, which is an important health factor. Near-infrared spectroscopy can detect the presence of other harmful additives like melamine in cereals, pet foods, and dairy products. These additives are used to enhance the protein content by boosting the nitrogen content of the food to hide the fact that the item has been diluted. This table summarizes a few of the spectral signatures that NIR spectroscopy can detect from common food items. With milk, you can measure fats and dangerous additives like melamine. The quality of dairy products can be monitored by looking at the NIR spectra of proteins and fats. Fat, protein, and water content produce a more objective assessment of meat products. Similarly, proteins and oils produce an objective assessment of fish products. Sugars and carbonation contents for soft drinks, sugar content for juices, sugar and water contents for syrup. In a vineyard, the sugar, acid, and alcohol content can be monitored during fermentation process to optimize the desired wine produced. In beer brewing, the sugar and alcohols can be monitored during the brewing process. And in oils, unsaturated, polyunsaturated, and transunsaturated fats can be measured. The following plots show typical absorbance spectra for these common dairy products. Milk is in the top graph, and cheese is in the bottom graph. This plot shows the typical absorbance spectra for common chocolates. Here you can see the typical absorbance spectra for meat products with beef at the top graph and bacon in the bottom graph. And finally, this last plot shows the typical absorbance spectra for these common oil food products, olive oil, walnut oil, linseed oil, and castor oil. Thanks for your attention.